Well, some of the bills that did not pass our state legislature this year would have addressed tragic situations. Others were intended to make life better for Ohioans. But in the end, failure to pass them means they will have to start all over again from the beginning next year. Our State House reporter Jason Aubrey continues our coverage from Columbus. As of Christmas Day, 157 bills from this General Assembly have become law. 985 others have not, including most of the Reagan Tokes Act and all of Tyler's Law. A lot of bills failed to come to fruition, including an attempt to overhaul unemployment compensation, an anti discrimination bill, and consensus was never reached on two bills that address tragic situations. Senator Charlita Tavares has noticed an increase in bills being introduced at the State House. In some cases, it's because we have inexperienced legislators who don't understand that some of these issues can be addressed without legislation. In other cases, I believe it's because we are more of a full-time legislature than was intended. So people feel like they have to make work. Then there are the bills that develop as a result of a tragedy, like Tyler's Law and the reagan Tokes Act, and with them, hesitation. Only part of the reagan Tokes Act made it into law. It is also very difficult and has a lot of different, um, it's complicated, so we knew it was going to take time. On the other end of the spectrum, it's unclear how much support Tyler's Law has. And while Tavares says safety should always be looked at, another route for the changes being sought may yield better fruit. In some cases, we need to look at the larger picture, not just that particular incident. And in fact, our judges are saying the same thing. Any bill that did not pass can be resubmitted next year in the next General Assembly. But little will have changed to shift the balance of power here at the State House. And there's no guarantee it will fare any better. At the State House, Jason Aubrey, 5 on 2.